Hi and welcome, thank you for joining me. I'm delighted to be playing Moon River, beautiful piece here arranged by Carolyn Miller. And this video is made at the request of another Carolyn. Um, I hope you are enjoying learning this piece too. I'm gonna play it through twice. I'm gonna perform it first of all, and then I'm gonna play it through slowly, and I might just chip in with the odd little comment as I do so. It's such an iconic melody, isn't it? Very beautiful. Now let me go through it again. If you're studying this, um, I would urge you to study the chords, work out what the chords are. Could you play it just from reading the chords? Um, this beautiful melody, can you memorise it? Um, that would be a, a fun thing to try and do. But we've got this notation in front of us, so now let's have a look at it. Um, a little bit steadier, loads of pedal, from the start, some big stretches in the left hand, haven't we got? Introduction, first of all. I quite like four and two on that one, on the right hand. Just heading down. And those chords are ubiquitous. C major, A, F, G. We hear them everywhere, don't we? Well, it makes a very effective introduction. We had got to there. Excuse me, it really doesn't matter, does it? And then the tune comes in. We want lots of lots of tone with the melody, big stretches in our left hand. Third finger on the C. And pedaling once per bar. I like the third finger on the B because it's there. And notice how this left hand builds up the chords. And on that one I need to let go to free up the C. Hold on to those left hand notes. Free up the C. I'm changing pedal each bar. Very lovely chord that one, isn't it? Do that little little bit again. That's a tricky bit, isn't it? Let's go from bar seventeen. Sorry, on the beat. Wait, two, three, two, three. Then we're off again. Third finger on the C. Very pretty thirds in the right hand there. 
Build up those left hand chords. Free up the C for the right hand. Change of pedal. Over the home stretch, aren't we? And notice how my left hand is. I'm keeping hold of the, that E and the A. C is also in an A flat chord, so that's why an A flat major seventh, which will take us to D flat major seventh. To find this, a delaying the resolution at the end to a C chord at the end, and we're aware that those chords are exactly the same, just popped up an octave, and we're going slower here. That's it's reminiscent of that, isn't it, from the start to finish off with. Such a beautiful piece, very satisfying to play and very satisfying for those that are listening too. Um, good, luck, good luck, Carolyn, with learning this one. Any questions, do let me know. Take care. Bye-bye for now.